I think everything that my grandmother wanted to achieve when she took this huge responsibility on, she, she's managed. Yeah, you heard him correctly. That's Prince Harry giving some major love to his granny, the Queen, following he and wife Meghan Markle's royal exit and the release of the controversial new biography, Finding Freedom. I'm sure this will make for uncomfortable reading for some people. It does go into the lives of uh, family relations between royal family members. Mm -hmm. um, but of course, these are people who are living out there already in the public eye. This is a, a conversation about using digital, the online world, for good. The Sussexes hopped on a Zoom call with young leaders on Monday as part of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, marking their first joint appearance from their new home in Santa Barbara. Yeah, it's good to be home. As for why Meghan and Harry are still carrying out royal duties... The decision that I have made for my wife and I to step back is not one I made lightly. Well, even after stepping back as senior members of the family on March 31st, the Sussexes have held on to a few roles, including that of President and Vice President of the Queen's Commonwealth Trust. Thank you for giving me the courage to take this next step. And they used Monday's meeting about spreading positivity in the digital space to give a little praise to Queen Elizabeth herself. Everything that my grandmother wanted to achieve when she took this huge responsibility on and she, she's managed. No one could have predicted how the world was gonna change in, in such a short space of time, especially with the digital space. But hearing you guys, knowing the broad spectrum that the, the QCT sort of engulfs, you guys are the, the definition of the 21st century Commonwealth and what it means to be part of it. You know, you are there standing for equality, for mutual respect, and for fairness. Plus, Megan gave her own nod to the 94-year-old monarch. From my standpoint, being newer to the, the world of the Commonwealth, right? I lived in Canada for several years, but it wasn't until joining the family and um, that I was able to meet so many young people throughout the Commonwealth. If they came with a question, they always offered a solution. Yeah. And that's what I think is so inspiring and you know why I'm incredibly proud to, to be able to work with the Queen's Commonwealth Trust, but why you know it's, it's the continuation of the legacy of of your grandmother. The couple continued to spread the love, complimenting the young leaders on their work. I think this platform that you guys have created is is so, it's just optimistic, right? It's so positive and that's exactly what you guys need. You can either train people to be cruel or you can train people to be kind. Mm -hmm. And it's really that simple. And Harry had this message about mental health. If we are all able to show our vulnerability, that doesn't mean that you're weak. If anything, I believe that that's probably shown most of your strength. And if you're so in touch with your emotions and you know where you are on each day, well, that's a superpower. But no Sussex appearance is complete without a nod to Archie. And thankfully, the proud mama delivered. I say you, I'm, I want to include us. I already, feel, I already feel as I'm way too old for a conversation. Stop. No, no, but it's true. But it's true. It's it's this is the world that you guys are gonna inherit. And I'm saying you guys because I'm predicting that most of you in your in, and Archie. in your late twenties and Archie.